What is an HIV cluster? In public health, the term cluster can refer to a group of health events that are somehow related or have a characteristic in common. Communicable diseases regularly spread through sexual, social, and behavioral networks. So identifying clusters can assist in stopping transmission throughout these networks and beyond. The term HIV cluster describes a network of people experiencing rapid HIV transmission. This network includes people diagnosed with HIV, individuals who have HIV but have not yet been diagnosed, and those who do not have HIV but are closely related to this network. The term closely related in a cluster usually means that people share a behavior that allows HIV to spread. These behaviors may include having sex without a condom or sharing injection equipment that has not been cleaned. A related public health term is an outbreak. A cluster often involves fewer people and an outbreak involves a more significant number. Health departments and community-based organizations may use the terms cluster and outbreak interchangeably. CDC defers to state and local health departments to characterize these situations based on local factors. Because clusters are usually associated with rapid transmission, it is essential to identify and reach people as quickly as possible. People involved in a network of rapid transmission might not be aware of their HIV status, which is why HIV testing is important. After testing, people with HIV can begin treatment, called antiretroviral therapy. ART, which can help them become virally suppressed, meaning their viral load is undetectable, so they are both healthier and no longer able to transmit HIV. People who do not have HIV can begin taking medicine to prevent HIV, called PrEP, which stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. HIV testing and referrals for treatment or prevention can keep everyone healthier. Health departments and community-based organizations routinely offer these prevention and treatment services. But during a cluster response, they can focus the services more specifically on people in networks where HIV transmission is rapid. Along with testing, ART, and PrEP referrals, health departments can connect people with other needed services, such as other primary and chronic disease healthcare, housing, and syringe service programs, SSPs. In the next video, We'll discuss how health departments detect HIV clusters.